Humans rely on resources to survive. A resource is anything we value and that we need. Water is one of our most important resources. Yet, since the beginning of time, the amount of water on Earth has not changed. The rain that falls today is in fact the same water that was used by plants and animals millions of years ago. This is because the world's water moves in a continuous cycle. It is in the clouds above us and in the rain that falls upon us. It fills our waterways, rivers, lakes and oceans. And with the heat of the sun, it then rises again as vapour. It will stay in the atmosphere usually for nine days before again falling as rain or other forms of precipitation. Over time, much of the water sinks through the surface of our planet, going deep underground where it can be stored for thousands of years. Life on planet Earth depends on this water. Trees draw water from soil and from deep underground. Water will pass through the leaves of enormous trees and back into the atmosphere, back into the water cycle. It is an interconnected, continuous system of water in all its forms, cycled and recycled, constantly changing its state, from gas to liquid to solid and back to gas. Our water is a finite resource. There is no more water available to us than that which exists at the moment. In some places, there is too little water. Nearly 1.5 billion people in the world rely on water from the ground for their survival. But what about where you live? In the suburbs, the cities, the rural areas? Water is literally on tap a seemingly endless resource to be used for your convenience. Do you respect water? And how would you survive without it? <laughs>